Battleship. Hi everybody, it's Mr. Barton for Victory Physical Education Online, and we're here today to talk about a game called Battleship. Now, Battleship is an activity I play with my first through fifth graders. Uh, this helps with uh, throwing, a little bit of offense and defense involved, uh, there's a lot of cardio, a lot of running around, and there's also some teamwork and strategy going on in this game. So what you're going to need for this activity is you're going to need a whole bunch of foam balls, you're going to need a whole bunch of pins, four per mat, and you're going to need some mats, all right, and I use six. So you don't need a whole lot of equipment, uh, but um, having at least, I'd say, 10 to 15 foam balls uh, is a good idea with this activity. So with uh, Battleship, what you do is you get it set up by putting three mats on one side of the gym, and they're spaced far apart. You don't want them too close together, otherwise it's too easy. I split the groups into six groups. Uh, I have a Battleship and I color, I color code the pins, uh, maybe an orange, green, blue, red, yellow, and green, I, I believe, um, that I use. And uh, so the, the groups are color coded. And when they come in, uh, I have groups numbered in six. So I'll say group six go to this mat, two to that one, three to this one, four to that one, five, and then six. And usually you'll get between uh, four or five, at least at my school, to a group, sometimes less with the smaller classes. So that is the setup for Battleship. And again, this is the mats, the pins, and the balls. And I usually put the balls in the middle. And I forgot to mention one piece of equipment which I'm trying out that's worked. Instead of using pennies, I've been using the scrunchies. So I bought in some different colored scrunchies, really easy to put on and off, and I haven't put them on their forearm, so we can tell uh, uh, who is the uh, person who is allowed to retrieve the ball, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. So this game starts with everybody on the mat. I have them number themselves, one, two, three, or four, depending on how many people they have in their group. The game starts with number one, having the scrunchie on. Now the object of this game is to sink other people's battleships. You sink other people's battleships by knocking their four pins down, which are set up in the corners on the floor just outside the mat. I leave a little space between the mat and the pin, um, and they put one in each corner. So the object of this game is for each battleship to knock down all four pins to the other battleships. Now I have one, I have a timer that I use that the kids can see, a countdown timer that I put on a minute and 30 seconds. They play for a minute and 30 seconds. At the end of that minute and 30 seconds, okay, uh, if they have one pin standing, they get one point. If they have four pins standing, they get four pins. So the object of this game is to make sure you uh, protect your pins while knocking down the others. So they're throwing the balls at all these other uh, mats, trying to knock them down, but they have to be careful because the other team is trying to knock down theirs. Now this yellow, this red scrunchie comes into play when you allow the person wearing the scrunchie is allowed to leave the mat to go collect the ball to bring back to their people to throw at the other ships now i let them know and for the younger kids this is a process that they are allowed to throw but they only can throw when they're on the mat and they have to have both feet on the mat when they throw now the person with the scrunchie they are allowed to, to leave to go get the ball so they're allowed to leave the mat but if they want to throw they have to be on the mat one when they do it all right so only the scrunchie is allowed to do that. So we play for a minute and 30 seconds. At the end of a minute and 30 seconds, we add up the scores. And at that point, um, I have number two would get to wear the scrunchie. So you're making sure that everybody has a turn to be the runner or the retriever of the balls to bring them back to the battleship. I play this for about three or four rounds in a minute and 30 seconds. This is the individual battleship version. And in the, set, in the third or fourth round, depending on how the class is doing, what I do is I say, okay, these three teams, these three mats are on the same team. They form an alliance. And they are not going to knock each other's pins down. And these three pins, or these three mats on this side form an alliance. So now it is a battle between, uh, in my class, south versus north. And they're trying to knock down the pins on those two teams. So sometimes it takes some encouragement, like, hey, you can't throw them at it's your team anymore, now you're aiming at these teams over there and they're across the gym. And what you're getting is you're getting the balls being thrown back and forth uh, between the two teams trying to knock down the pins. And obviously you have your retrievers which are allowed to leave the mat, go get a ball, bring it back, and uh, then run back and get some more. So there's lots of running around in this activity, lots of fun. And usually with that Alliance Battleship, I put on two minutes on the clock. And at the end of that two minutes, whatever group has the most pins at the end 
wins the game. Uh, we don't shake hands anymore. At the end of the game, we usually salute our opponent and say good game. Uh, and I talk about it's not that important if you win the game. If you win, it's okay to be happy, but you should not uh, be bragging uh, to, your, uh, to your opponents, and you should not be teasing. If you lose, it's okay to be sad, but you should not uh, whine and blame uh, your opponent and your other team. So that is stuff that we talk about as far as sportsmanship. The name of the game is Battleship. Please stay tuned. You are going to see Battleship in action here at Victory School. And as always, thanks for watching.